along the wild coasts of Papua New Guinea, lurks a river monster that has a reputation as the ultimate fighting fish. New Guinea black bass grow to over 30 kilograms and have the potential of luring sports fishermen in from around the world. Locally based catch and release fishing tourism could provide stable livelihoods for Papua New Guinea's coastal villages. But almost nothing is known about this unique fish. Papua New Guinea is located north of Australia and contains some of the world's last true wilderness. The population is growing rapidly and many people live in extreme poverty. The PNG National Fisheries Authority, supported by the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research and James Cook University, is conducting critical research needed for the proper management of this unique species. And I think the important thing here is that the fish is, uh, is managed at a sustainable uh, level. I think it's, Im it's important to understand the, the biology of the resource and create a, create a fishery where people will benefit from that. A third of PNG survives on less than $2 a day. The problem is that the PNG's population is growing very rapidly, especially the younger population. Impact on resources is increasing very quickly. Roughly 80% of the population is unemployed. We do know that there are benefits from sport fishing. Um, it does generate income for people. It also fosters stewardship of the environment, but it still needs to be understood and that's where the research comes in. We've got a broad range of people from various sorts of biologists, um, chemical ecologists. We've got people from business, people from tourism, people from social science. We need those people to cover all the issues. I mean, James Cook has the, the technical uh, capability to be able to assist us here. James Cook University is the leader in research, addressing the critical challenges facing the tropics. This is one of the really big opportunities in science because there's nothing known about this fish. They're a fish of exceptional conservation value, but they're one species there's absolutely no knowledge about. So it's very exciting to work on something like that. Maybe look at black bass as being the fish of Papua New Guinea, maybe something like the bed of paradise, you know. This is the start of a 10-year research program. With the right support, a well-planned catch and release fishery grounded in scientific fact could provide benefits to local people and the environment and provide a once-in-a-lifetime experience for adventurous sports fishers.